when you DJ at one of these large open air events, inevitably the, the music you play has to be a little bit more low as common denominator because the vibe's different. Invariably, if you're playing in a small club or even a medium sized club, you can kind of bespoke what you do more in the direction of the real cognoscente of music. Whereas in a huge open air event, and invariably I play in one of the larger um, arenas at these sort of things, you do have to be um, just a little bit more familiar. I'm not saying outright poppy, but just more familiar. In terms of comparing the, the, the huge open air dance events to the likes of Glastonbury and Reading, I really am not in a position to speak because I've never been to them because I, I come from the dance generation. Up to a point, I think that the, the likes of Glastonbury and Reading have been slightly outdated by what um, goes on in the dance arena. Even with its dance tent, Glastonbury really doesn't have its finger on the pulse of what our generation are doing. And if they don't make some form of change, and eventually they will become increasingly irrelevant, although that's not to say that live band orientated open air events don't have some sort of importance. I think that the greatest thing is the fact that five years ago there were one or at the very most two open air dance festivals in the UK each year. And now throughout the summer, if you take um, Northern Ireland and Scotland into consideration too, you're talking between 10 and 12, which just shows the strength of British dance infrastructure, which is uh, you know fantastic given I've sort of been there and uh, been part of creating that, which is, um, it makes me feel very proud really, oh, getting all gushing. As a DJ, um, the secret to having a good time is genuinely dancing and sort of prancing around, making a bit of a tit of yourself, and um, not being one of these po-faced, head down, heads down DJs who um, look like they're pretty damn miserable. I'm genuinely enjoying myself. I've always been 51% a club and 49% a DJ, and I think that's quite a profitable and valuable equation when you are a DJ, rather than being too muso and just too um, sulky and um, irritated looking.